The view from Dave DePaula's home in Amityville overlooks wetlands in more ways than one. We've had one woman drop her pants completely while we were eating dinner. From the dinner table, they can see a regular flow of men and women. And they'll use this as a bathroom rather than going straight across the field on the other side of the outfield over there to use the bathroom. Public restrooms at James Capel's Memorial Park across the field are too far ball players have complained, so instead they head to residence yards. Just drop their pants, urinate, do whatever they got to do right in front of the house, like as if we have no windows. Bathroom doors are often locked, but softball leagues are given keys to the public restrooms. It's when teams show up to play impromptu games that neighbors say their behavior is way off base. That's not good. And you know what? It's, it, the village really has to, it's their enforcement. They have to get on that. Residents assumed there was a law to enforce, but there is no state or local law that specifically prohibits public urination like there is in New York City. Offenders could be charged under indecent exposure laws, but must be caught in the act. I was shocked there's no law. There ought to be, or as a minimum, uh portable bathrooms. So now Amityville's drafted this law prohibiting the foul behavior the village calls inappropriate, disturbing, and hazardous. If the law passes as expected and you got to go, you got to go to court to pay a $250 fine or face jail time. In Amityville, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And village officials say if the behavior continues, they could also revoke the permits of teams that use the field.